Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal. I sell residential homes here in the greater Toronto area. What is happening with the market? The average price is sky high. We're now looking at the average price being at $968,000, up by about 14% versus the same time of the year last year. And it's the highest price we've had throughout all of 2020. As well, the number of sales almost reached 11,000 sales during the month of October 2020, which is up by 25% year over year. Surprisingly, we are seeing a very healthy real estate market for both buyers and sellers. It's a very strong market and that's what we're going to discuss during this video. I'm shooting this video on November the 4th, 2020. We've got all the data from October 2020. This is going to be our market update as well as my real estate predictions. Now, if it's your first time visiting my YouTube channel, then do click subscribe, give the video a like, and comment below with your personal thoughts of our real estate market here in the greater Toronto area. I'm looking for partner agents as I've recently switched brokerages. If you're curious to know about eXp brokerage, then um, our stock has really gone up. I think you may find it quite informative to learn more about it. So you're welcome to call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. And without further ado, let's get into the market. Now, let's take a look at the market watch. And what I've done for you is if you look at the description, description box of this particular YouTube video, you will see timestamps. If there is something specific you are looking for, we're going to address the average price, the days on market, the volume of sales, and as well as some of my predictions throughout the end of 2020. Looking at the average price, it's very fascinating knowing that the average price, again, is the highest it's been throughout all of 2020. We're at $968,000. And this is even up since September. In September, the average price was $961,000. It's important to note that when I say average price. This is referencing to all properties across the greater Toronto area, all home styles. So that's encompassing anything from a condo to a detached home to a multiplex property, right? $968,000. And then if we further look into the average price, we can see not only is it up from September to October, but as well year over year in October 2019, the average price was at $851,000. So this is up significantly up by 13.7%. As far as what I'm personally seeing in the marketplace, this is like the best time to sell for those detached homeowners since you can say those high times at early 2017, because it was early 2017 where these prices were dramatically higher than what they were at the end of 2017, given that the foreign tax was implemented and the values just suddenly dropped overnight. So if you are perhaps one of those sellers that you consider to be not in a rush, not desperate to sell, yet you've been waiting for the prices that you could have achieved in early 2017, believe me, now is the best time to sell. I don't know if things will get any better from here in terms of the price going up. Because as we further look into it, we can see that the average detached property is selling at four. 14.8% higher than what it was last year at 1,204,000. Semi-detached homes similarly have risen in price. They're up by 9.7% year over year at $935,000. Townhouses up by 10.5% now at the average price of $747,000. And condo apartments, unfortunately, for all of you condo homeowners, they haven't appreciated. They're at 0.7% increase year over year. However, though, this really doesn't tell the whole story with the condo apartments. As we can see here that the uh, 905 area actually went up by 6.8% year over year with the condo apartments, whereas it's the downtown condo apartments, you can say, or the Toronto condo apartments, which have not risen too much in value. And it makes sense because, of course, due to the pandemic going on, a lot of buyers aren't necessarily that comfortable going all the way downtown, looking at property, right? For the majority of condo apartments right now, the amenities are closed, so your exercise room is closed, your indoor pool is closed, so condos, you can say, aren't that attractive. However, I really just think this is temporary and within a few months time, once the pandemic, you can say, is less severe and people are more comfortable going about and looking at properties, that the prices will spike up. So if you are considering buying a condo, believe me, now is the best time. As further evidence of this, let's go back to February 2020, pre-COVID, you can say, and the average price of condos in the 416 was $722,000. And as an agent selling a lot of homes, in February, the market was absolutely insane for condos. I was listing properties getting 20, sometimes 30 offers, no exaggeration, on some of these smaller apartments, even 500 to 600 square feet. Taking a look now at the volume of sales, in October 2020, there was 10,563 sales. This number was up 25% year over year. And similar to September 2020, what so is right now we are experiencing a lot of sales and a lot of activity just given that the pandemic happened and we're experiencing still like that late spring you can say early summer kind of market 
there was a lot of people who were not looking to buy or sell between maybe like March until the end of June. And now there's still that flurry of buyers that are looking to buy perhaps before the end of the year or early 2021. So what so is this number is very similar to what it was in September. The number of sales in September was 11,083. And we can see here, just going back to April, the number of sales was only 2,975. So more buyers in the marketplace as the interest rates are still very, very low. And they have a lot of property to choose from, especially for condo home buyers. The number of active listings is up if we look at the first half of the year from January to May. And if we look at even um, October 2019, the number of active listings was 15,375. So we're up by 12.6%. Now, why is that happening? Maybe more sellers are comfortable showing their homes, knowing that there are proper procedures in place. For example, when buyers or agents go and visit a listing, they are required to wear a mask and we advise them to wear gloves as well, not touch the light switches, not open drawers. So of course, sellers are gonna have naturally a lot more comfort with that whole process. And there are a lot of sellers as well that do wanna sell their home and don't wanna wait until this pandemic finishes because clearly we don't know when that is going to be. And now let's take a look at the average days on market. What this is, is this is a good indication of whether it's like a seller's market, meaning it's ideal to sell, or a buyer's market, meaning it's a good time to buy. And we're seeing a good number of 24 days on market, just over three and a half weeks. Although this is less than it was in 2019. Year over year, there's a 27% decrease in the days on market. Um, October 2019, it was 33 days on the market, which in essence means it's better to sell now versus the same time of the year last year. You put your property up for sale, it'll sell in less time, likely with less stress as well. And we can point out some particular cities which are doing very well and they're really good for sellers right now with the Halton Hills, the average home is selling in 16 days, Milton only 19 days, looking at Brampton, the average home is selling in only 19 days. And then across the whole pretty much Durham region from Ajax, Brock, Clarington, Oshawa, Pickering, very low number of days on market. So for these sellers, they're the ones that are likely to be getting multiple offers on their property and selling in a considerably short amount of time. And then conversely, we are able to identify which cities are slower markets based on the average days on market being on the higher side. So if we look here, it's taking 56 days for the average property in King City to sell. That's a long time. Uh, but why is that happening? Probably because in King City, we're dealing with more expensive properties. There are perhaps less buyers in that particular area. And at the same time, a lot of the properties are on acreage or they're on land and not everybody wants to buy land because it's gonna require a lot of maintenance. Maybe the annual taxes will be higher. So there's a lot of factors there. As well as in Stouffville, the average home is selling in 37 days. And in Oakville, the average property is taking 32 days to sell. So the average day on market is 24 days, although this is very similar to what it was throughout the past few months. In July, the average home was selling in 25 days. In August, it was 24 days. And in September, it was 22 days. Where we are seeing multiple offers and properties that are selling above the asking price are those lower price properties, but at the same time, freehold properties, meaning um, you can say anything like price between 500,000 to 800,000 that does not have condo fees. So like a freehold townhouse, semi-detached townhome, or one of those smaller detached properties. I really hope this information was helpful for you. Do subscribe, click like, and comment below. Uh, if, whether it's a positive comment or a negative comment, I just wanna see your feedback. And if you're looking to buy or sell, do call me. My number is 416-671. 5218 as well. I'm at EXP Realty. I'm looking for hungry agents that are looking to succeed. If you are considering a brokerage change for 2021, then do call me as well. My number is 416-671-5218. And I will look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you very much. Bye.